this isn't something you can cure, but you can learn to manage it. <coughs> Sorry. I think it's best for you to have a roommate, not to be alone. Alex, this is Vincent. Whoa! Take your shoes off! It's gonna be your roommate for a while. Hi. What would you do if you could better control your tics? <coughs> it's never really mattered. Matters now. I'm Marie. I'm supposed to show you around the clinic. Computer room, but the internet blows. TV room, no cable. Game room, but they're all stupid. Done. Well, then you can go. Why don't you eat? Vincent, relax. Relaxing is pretty much the one thing I cannot do. Are you wanking? Hi, I'm Gren Wells, and I directed and wrote The Road Within. Right, and it seconds. is about a young man with Tourette syndrome uh, who falls in love with a young anorexic girl and they kidnap an OCD guy and they go on a road trip to deliver the ashes of his mother to the ocean. Hello, uh, my name is Robert Patrick. I mean, I mean Robert Sheehan. Sorry, you. sorry. He's Robert Patrick. I'm Robert Sheehan. We're the Bobs. Yeah, we're the two Bobs, you know what I mean? And I play Vincent Rhodes in The Road Within, who has Tourette Syndrome. He's the character she was just talking about. Hi, I'm Robert Patrick, and I play Bob Rhodes, uh, a father who is ill-equipped to deal with uh, having a son that has severe Tourette's. And uh, I go on a journey and find out about myself. I went to this uh, support group a couple of times, and it was for people who have Tourette's syndrome, but also the people who are in their lives. So it was really, it was really, really good uh, support group to go to. And I remember there was one guy who was a singer and he was in a kind of a duo with another guy and the, the other guy was talking about being his friend, his best friend and his singing partner for years and years. And as he was telling the group this, his friend who had Tourette's syndrome had taken his hat off and was just thrashing him around the head with this. He was just whacking him on the head with his own hat as he was telling everybody how much he loved his friend. <laughs> You know, and uh, so all that experience and just kind of, uh, it, was, it was great for the preparation. And then um, in rehearsal, we worked, uh, myself and Gren worked very closely with a guy who has Tourette syndrome, who you came into contact with through the Tourette Society of America. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they put us in touch and, and Jackson ended up being our Tourette's consultant on the film. And he was kind of there during the shoot sort of as, as my, my kind of Tourette's star, you know, to kind of keep me, my Tourette's-ometer, keep me sort of, uh, keep Yeah, me he, real, he would say you know? it was like not enough, too much, uh, who's the barometer for uh, the time, because the thing about ticks is also they are spurred on by, by situations uh, mm -hmm. that someone's in, and so sometimes if it's a really tense situation, the Tourette can go off the charts, but mm -hmm. they can also disappear. So, yeah, yeah. so we, we wanted to do it very authentically, and Jackson helped us do that. It was funny, he said one thing about love, which was, which was interesting, about when, when he was, you know, when he was Tourette's and was with a girl, you know, his tics kind of fall away as opposed to the anxiety building up and, and causing, you know, more severe sort of physical tics. He said, like, Whenever he, you know, when he was 16 or 17, he was with a girl who was just about to kiss her or whatever, the, the tics would, would fall away as opposed to, you know, it, it, when I hear, oh, the Tourette's, basically the tics are sort of exacerbated by any sort of anxiety. I thought, well, in those love scenes where they're getting intimate, I'm going to be ticking loads and, and we're going to have to figure that out. But Jackson said, no, no, in that situation, um, the tics would fall away for him. <laughs> I have a lot to offer, but these stupid rituals just take over everything. Yeah, well, I think I'm fat. I guess we all have issues. What if it sucks? What if it's amazing? What if it's dangerous? Go! What if it's exciting? What if we die? Well, what if we live? <laughs> Can't I get one <laughs> advantage out of this? Illness. You just said like four sentences without ticking once. But he swore like ten times. What's the difference? 